morning, everyone. Good morning. I prepared a little gift today, but if you want to get this gift, you need to do something I want. Who want to get the first gift? Oh, can you jump in Jack 10 times? <laughs> yeah, right here. <laughs> Very nice. Very easy. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right. What about next? Okay, I want you to hop. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right. Right now, I want to give my third gift without working. Free gift for you. Here. Yes. I have a question right now. Who got the real gift right now? You or Emily, Jasmine, Emily or Daniel? Daniel. Why? Because? Because if you receive a gift, you don't have to do any work. Right. Because he did not work anything. Right. If you work and get something, that's not a gift. You deserve to get it because you work for that. Mm -hmm. So Jasmine, Emily, you didn't get the gift, but you got it through your work. But Daniel got the true gift because he didn't do anything. That's the true gift. The gift we got is not from something through work, but we got without working. That's totally free gift. The Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 says that. It is, for it is by grace you've been saved through faith. And this is not from yourself, and it is from gift. Of God, not by work, so that no one can boast. So you know, God gave us free gift already. We got the greatest gift in the world already. You know what is that? Maybe this picture is gonna remind you what you got. Yes, baby Jesus. Yes, we got baby Jesus, who is our Savior. Through Jesus Christ, we are all saved. We are ready to go to kingdom up. Huh? heaven. In today's story, yeah, today's scripture, so Matthew chapter 2, 1 through 12, is talking about not just getting gifts from Jesus, but somebody came to Jesus to offer gifts. You know who came? Yes, the three wise men came. They brought gifts. You know what kind of gift they brought? Let me show you. Maybe you can remember. Oh, yeah, three things here. Can we read each one together? Frankincense and myrrh. Oh, together. Ready, set, go. Frankincense and myrrh. Yes. The three wise men brought this gift. For whom? Baby Jesus. Why? Because. Why they brought this? Because they were thankful that he was born. Yes, they want to honor. They want to honor Jesus, baby Jesus, who was born for everyone, who is Savior, who is Messiah. So they brought gifts. So, as we start our new year, 2017, today is first Sunday, right? I'm so glad you are here. As we start new year, I want to really think about as the wise men offer their gift to the Lord, what kind of gift you can offer to Jesus? You, know, you, can, you don't need to answer right now, but I want to think about it today. So maybe when you go to Sunday school room, you can write down your answer here for what you can do in 2017 for the Lord. Maybe you can make new promise with God. You can read the entire Bible for one year, or you can help some people. You can share what you have with others, many other things. Or you can, you know, um, help your mommy for house, house, you know, house chores, many other things. I want you to make plan so you can try to offer your talent, your gift to the Lord throughout the year. Amen? Amen. All right. Here, yeah, this is what you do. Let us pray. Gracious God, thank you so much for giving us the free gift, gift of salvation, gift of grace. Through Jesus Christ, who was born for us, we are all saved. We want to say thank you. As three wise men came to Jesus and offered their gift, we want to offer our gift to you too, Lord. In 2017, let us give our time, let us give you our talent, 
Let us give you love by serving others and loving others. Take care bring of each other, Lord, so we can truly shine your light wherever we are. Lord, thank you so much for giving us great gifts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.